Hello. So, I just had my first week of sophomore year. My hair's a little bit messy today. So, I'm just going to deal with it. Um, it was cool. It was long. It was exhausting. Um, and most of my night, once I got home last night, and um, this morning was spent sleeping. Um, I think I slept, like, on and off from about, like, 4.30 to about 10.30 this morning. Uh, four thirty last night to ten thirty this morning, and yeah, I mean, it's really cool. I had to get some schedule changes, um, and everything felt right, which was something I was really scared of, because at the school that I was before the school I'm at now, uh, my second year there was the year that everything went wrong, and so for me, I was terrified to go back. To school uh, and to have that happen again I didn't want that to happen again because I had nowhere else to go and everything felt right it felt comfortable it felt good and I was in a good place I was I was happy um, I was doing really good you know people were asking me questions about you know how my summer went and all that stuff. Um, and I will say one of the biggest questions that I got was, you know, um, not really about me, but about the person that I'm dating. Um, I got a lot of the, you know, the usual, from people who didn't know, I got the, um, is he coming back to school this year? Is he not here? Is he late? That kind of thing. Um, but from the people that didn't, that did know that he wasn't coming back, I got the, what school is he going to? Um, is he nervous? Is he excited? Is he mad? That kind of stuff. People asking if he was okay, kind of, kind of, kind of situations and, and, you know, asking how they could talk to him and stuff like that. Um, which I was and wasn't prepared for. Mentally, I was prepared for it. Emotionally, I wasn't prepared for it. But that first day, everything went fine. You know, everything was good. I went to my classes. I had a good time. I had to take the bus home, which was, it was my first time taking the bus. And I know that sounds super weird. I went to an elementary school that didn't have buses and a middle school that didn't have buses. So for me, it was just, it was actually more normal <laughs> to not take the bus. Um... And that first day, everything was fine. I came home. I, I you know, I did my usual stuff. Kind of just relaxed and had a had a good night. I ordered Domino's because that's just who I am. Um, and then the second day rolled around. You know, I got some of the same questions about me, about my boyfriend, that kind of stuff. Um, and the day went by smoothly. Um, I had some schedule changes I had to make that day, um, and I, I put in for those schedule changes, took care of that. Last class rolled around. And something happened that I had tried to prepare myself for. I had tried to prepare myself for. Apparently I didn't prepare myself for it. Because I'm in that class, the teacher starts calling names. And she calls his name. I was not ready for it. I was not expecting it. And I looked around and I knew that there weren't any, there wasn't anyone else in that class that knew that he wasn't at that school anymore. So, you know, I kind of raised my hand. I was like, he doesn't go here anymore. He's not at the school. Just kind of tried to push it under the rug. But it kind of made me a little, like, feel a little dull the rest of the day. Like, kind of, like something was missing a little bit because last year we didn't have any classes together we had one class together in the first semester and then they switched that class in the second semester so we didn't have any classes together so to kind of realize that hey we 
We were gonna have a class together, finally. It kind of hurt a little bit. Um, it made me dull and feel out of place. Um, and when I got in the car, I tried to be happy because I had a performance that night with, um, with a Beatles tribute band I was super excited about in St. Charles, uh, on like on the street, literally in the middle of the street. They like blocked off the street. It was really cool. I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but when I got in the car, I was a little low key. My mom picked me up that day and she kept asking me, you know, like, are you sure you're okay and everything? And right when we got home, I kind of told her about was go what was going on and I tried to keep my vibe up. I tried to get excited and stuff and it just kind of wasn't happening for me. Um, so I kind of sat in the back of the car. I tried to listen to music, but songs kept coming on because what I do when something big happens is I kind of like attach music or like songs or artists to different like events or people in my life and so songs kept coming on that reminded me of a memory we had together or just reminded me of him in general. So I was very, I was kind of crying a little bit. I was kind of upset. And then we, we got to the performance, which we were actually there a few, a few hours early because we had to set up and stuff. Um, so we walked around and I got my spirits lifted. Uh, we walked right past this. We were gonna go and grab cookies at this like grandma's cookies place. It was right on the street there. And we walked past a British shop, which if you know me, you know I love British stuff. So I go in there because a few years ago, a friend of mine who visited England, she came back with these things called jammy dodgers. And when I got to try them, I was like, oh my God, I love them. What are these? Like, oh, they're so good. And I'd been trying to find them. And then Amazon had them, but like if you bought them, they were like super expensive. So I went into this English shop. I was like really hoping that they had them, but I wasn't expecting anything. I go in, at first I'm not finding them, and I walk right by there, I see the Mr. Kiplings, and then right next to those are the Jimmy Dodgers, and I was so happy. I grabbed like two boxes of those, I grabbed a box of the Mr. Kiplings, and I went on my way, we walked down, and uh, we watched some of the performance. I only sang like three songs, I think, which is kind of my usual with them. I only do a few. Um, and then we went home, we came home and went to bed. Then Thursday, my dad took me to school. Thursday was kind of um, a normal day again, not anything crazy. I had some schedule changes I had to do and some other things that I wanted to kind of move and fix and all that, but that was kind of a normal day. And I didn't get to talk to my boyfriend on Wednesday, but I got to talk to him on Thursday. Um, and I, you know, since he is going to a different school and he's trying to pretend, you know, he's trying to not like it because he worked really hard to get into the school that we, that I'm going to. And, um, so I, and, and I, and I kind and so I understand why he's upset and not wanting to like it, but I want him to like it because he's going to be there for three years. So I want him to, you know, kind of, you know, make friends and, you know, study really hard, get good grades, all that kind of jazz and <laughs> crazy stuff that I would care about. Um, and he kept saying, you know, no, I didn't like it. And, you know, I talked to like two people or whatever and, and all this stuff. And uh, the conversation was nice, I guess. But to me, it just, I don't really know how to say it, like what to say or like how to explain it or anything, but it just kind of felt off to me. Probably didn't really feel like that to him, but you know, we're in a relationship that is separated by distance and school and other things, you know, he can't talk all the time. And if, sometimes if I call him, he can't pick up. And then, you know, sometimes there'll be days where we go by and we can't talk to each other. Um, but then there'll be other times where we can talk every single day. And we're trying to kind of pull off this relationship like it doesn't have distance. Um, but that's kind of another thing I'm going to talk about. I'm going to do a whole video kind of based on my views with how the summer treated my 
long distance relationship and how the beginning of the school year um, worked with my long distance relationship um, and how I feel about it because I think that's very important to talk about. Um, but I didn't take the bus da that day. My grandma picked me up. We got Olive Garden, which was really awesome. Got to eat some pasta. That was really good. Um, and then Friday came around. I went to school. It was kind of a normal day. I got a headache at lunch, which was from exhaustion. And so I had a headache, like, the whole time until I got home. I actually thought I was going to die. Because, like, my head hurt so bad I thought I was going to throw up and I thought I was going to be sick. Um, and I tried calling him. He didn't pick up. And he didn't call back the rest of the night. And, um... I mean, it kind of hurt, but I understand, you know, he can't talk all the time, so. Um, and around 4.30ish, I fell asleep for a little bit. I kind of kept dozing in and out. I was watching New Girl, actually, which is kind of like one of my favorite shows. And I was working on some homework. And then I decided to lay on the couch and I put it on a movie that I've seen, you know, a handful of times I put the kissing booth on and I kept falling asleep during that so I turned that off tried to watch some YouTube kept falling asleep during that and then my mom came home and kind of woke me up a little bit and I talked to her she was like and I was like I'm gonna go lay upstairs and that was about six o'clock and then when I woke up it was nine o'clock <laughs> and then I went back to sleep <laughs> Because she told me that it was probably just going to be better. Because I had, like, dark circles under my eyes. Like, I looked terrible. And then I slept until about 9 o'clock. And then I went back to sleep. And then I woke up at 10.30. Which, if you know me, you know I usually don't really sleep late. Um, and now I'm here. So I have some videos planned. I have my Mamma Mia video I still need to put up. I have my lake trip video that I still need to put up. I just haven't had time to kind of edit and do all that stuff that I need to do. Um, I have some performance. I have a performance video of a really awesome night that happened over the summer that I've been meaning to put up for a while that I haven't. And um, so I'll do that. And I'm thinking about doing some like school vlogs where I like wear different types of outfits, or I let my friends style me, or I do some crazy stuff like that. Um, but I don't know what I'm, what my schedule's gonna be like uh, for filming during the school year. So I'm just gonna try and see what happens. Um, but thank you for sitting during this. I'm gonna put out a video about my long distance relationship issues, because <laughs> I have a lot of them. Um, and how that's kind of affecting me, I'm planning on doing that sometime within the next few weeks. I'm also going to be doing a video on this uh, band and this album. I love this uh, this band called Vinyl Theaters releasing a new album called Star Cruiser in about two weeks. And when that is released, I'll do a full, like, listen and react to type situation. Um, so, yeah. That's kind of what I have planned. And that's what my first week of sophomore year was like. So I hope you enjoyed this kind of laid-back, lazy video this uh, today, and I'll see you soon.